So to invoke a function from a base type, from a derived type, uh, that's rather straightforward. Um, C Sharp and Java have like super and base keywords to do this, um, but in C++ you actually have to be a little more explicit. Notice I have a foo function here, which is virtual, and I override foo in the derived class. So if I say base, base, actually let's make a pointer, base, it's new derived, and then I say, uh, let's see, base uh, foo, if I execute it, run it, as you would expect if hopefully you are familiar with polymorphism and OO and stuff like that, we get the correct runtime function here. If I take the virtual keyword off, then my V table is gone. And it's resolved, the address of foo is resolved by the compiler at compile time, which invokes base colon colon foo. Well, let's put virtual back on here. If I want wish to invoke the base foo from the derived foo, which is rather actually quite common to override a method, call the base classes implementation, and then do a little extra work in the derived instance. And so um, the way to do that, let's, uh, let's go right here. In, in Java, I believe it's super... And C sharp, it's uh, base, I believe, or su super. I can't remember. I'd have to look it up. Uh, and C plus plus, we actually have to be explicit. We have to say base colon colon foo. So let's run that, and hopefully, as as uh, hopefully you expect, the result we'll get, which is we see base foo and then derived foo. So so that's quite nice. And and you can do this as much as you want. It's not like you have to do it anywhere in particular. We can invoke the base class functions all we wish to. Uh, if we're actually not overriding, for example, if I call this something else, um, <clears throat> I can still use this syntax base colon colon foo to invoke foo, or I could just invoke it directly as you would expect from other languages, and that works just fine. Let me um, just show derived d d dot something else. And get rid of this base here. Notice I didn't delete my instance of the base from the heap. Uh, slap me on the wrist, that's bad. Run it. And there we go. See uh, the trace statement for derived foo, <laughs> because I still left this foo here, but that's actually the something else. And then uh, foo, we see base foo. This foo resolves to the base foo. So anyway, pretty straightforward. Do keep in mind, if I come, come back here and regardless of why I'm typing this, whether I need it or not. Um, this is the scope resolution operator. Again, the two colons are basically saying inside the scope of base, which is a, a class or a struct in this case, inside the scope of base, you'll find the foo function. So anyway, scope resolution operator, very common.